What up YouTube? This is my masonry fireplace heat exchanger that I built. Um, it consists of three inch, three by one inch square tubing with a 120 CFM duct booster. Basically a little fan inside of a duct work. Um, I'm going to take this cover off here and I'm going to show you inside the fireplace what's going on. So hold on a second. Okay, now you can see I got two tubings that are connected to the blower that run back to the back of the fireplace come up that's 16 inches in the back 70 degree angle and it comes out at the front of my fireplace that just works for my application this is my I got a 26 inch opening here two foot two foot in the back like I said, the heat goes through, or the air goes through the tubing, comes up, and it comes out right here, and I can't even keep my hand right here. I will probably be getting a stronger blower motor because I like a little bit more air to come through these tubes. It's not a, uh, it's not as much as I'd like. Um, I don't really have a cold bed yet down there, so once a cold bed becomes equivalent down there, I'll, I'll even get more e more heat down there. So. This allows my fireplace to be a lot more efficient. Instead of it being 5-10% efficient, I'll probably get maybe 40 if I get a stronger blower on this. And then with my heat shield up, that keeps all the sparks and everything, all the wood from coming out because I don't have any doors, as you can see, or screens. And that metal, it's only 16th of an inch, but it will radiate heat just as much too. So that will keep uh, some of the draft down. I will show you pictures on how I built this. Um, I have a little Hobart 140 MIG welder. It did all this welding for me. As you can see, it's pretty nice. I think it's pretty nice welds. I'm not a very good welder, but but like I said, I'll probably be getting a stronger fan that will go in this tubing because. I want a little bit more airflow, but it does keep my basement a lot warmer. Thank you for watching. Please like the video and subscribe.